I made it out of clay, and when it's dry and ready, oh, dreidel, I shall pray, oh, dreidel, 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 I made it out of clay, and when it's dry and ready, oh, dreidel, I shall pray, so trust of. Good morning, everybody, as we start the day of Chitas today in the morning, starting with the Chumash. Happy Hanukkah, happy Erev Shabbos, everybody. As we are in the book of Genesis, we are holding the portion of Vayeshev on a Friday, the sixth reading. Chapter 39, verse number seven. It happened and passed after these events. Yosef was now in Mitzrayim. He was working for the chamber, for the, the butcher chamberlain. And Vatisa Eisha Dena Neha, and the master's wife, Paitifa's wife, uplifted her eyes, Al Yosef, to Joseph, Vatoymer Shikhva Imi. She said, Lie with me. Verse number 28. And he refused. He said to his master's wife, Behold, with me, my master knows nothing about anything in his house. Everything he trusts me. And everything that he has, he's given in my hands. And then the God of Abayis has there me many. In this house, there's no one greater than me, than I. many And he has not withheld anything from me except Kim Oischa. Besides you, you are his wife. And how would I ever do such a terrible thing? And I would have sinned against God. And Joseph, Rashi said, Joseph says to, to her, even the, the sons of Noah have accepted the laws of immorality not to sleep with somebody else's wife. Verse number 10. He could have a yes, yam, yam, but she didn't give up. She soaked him day by day. She he did, he did accept, he didn't accept it. Lishka to to lay with her and to be with her. So that's Lishka, he's telling her, Come, just lie with me. You don't have any, you don't have any relationship, just lie with me. That's what we see that he Lash says he wants she wanted that he she would be part of the Jewish nation. He said, I want to be part. I want to be with you in Elam Abba and the world to come. Verse 11. came the day. And, and uh, Joseph came home. To do his work. And there was nobody home that day. So now she says, what do you mean? Which day? That is to say the special day arrived. A day of rejoicing. A religious festival. When they, the household, all went to the temple of their idols, she said, I have no more fitting day to consort with Joseph but today. So she told the husband, I'm ill, I cannot go. Sorry, I got to stay home. So Joseph came to the house to do his work. And the Gemara is an argument, a controversy between Rav and Shmuel. One said, he came to actually do his work. The other said, he came to he came to do his work with her. He came to he decided to give in. But what happened was his father's image appeared before him. He suddenly saw the face of Yaakov and he could not do it. But she grabbed him by his, by his garment, saying, Shvai Madi, you have to lie with me. Bayazi big the biyade. So he left his garment with her with her. Bayonas Vayta Khutsa he ran away. Verse 13. But he could raise cause of his big day biyada when she saw that he left his garment with her. Bayonas a chutzah he ran outside. Verse 40, Matikal Anche Basa, she ran and called the people of her house. Bataimalahem. And she said, Lema, Ruy Vilan Ish Ivi, look, my husband bore. A Jewish slave, the Tzachik Banu. He's really come to laugh at us. Boy, lie, Lishka Vimi. He came to sleep. We came to rape me. The Eka, because Godi, but I called out, so he ran away. 
Uh, she says, uh, this is a short, although the is something absent, something's missing in this word in, in this verse, because it says to say who. It doesn't say who brought it, but it means his baila. So you don't want to you don't want to embarrass her. She didn't want to embarrass her husband saying, My husband bought the slave. Ivri me Eva no Eva. He comes from the other side of the river, sons of Eva. Verse number 50. Aikish Maya clearly when he heard me scream. He left his garment at Sliva Yonas Veta Chutza. So if it wasn't I wasn't that I was screaming, he would have raped me, God forbid. She held the garment until Potiphar came home, the master of Joseph. And he told him, Look at these things. This, this Jewish slave came here. Which you brought. He said, Ashi says, You to mock me, the Hebrew slave that you brought to us, he's mocking me. He wants to. He wants to rape me. He wants to sleep with me. And uh, you see, he's taking advantage of us. When I, when I screamed, and I called out, my yad, big dad, so he left his garment with me. We ran away. Verse 19, when the Paitifa, the master, heard his wife's report, these things, also the uh, your servant did to me. And he got angry. Rashi says, doing, they were having, Petif and his wife were having relationships. And he said, exactly, you see this? This is what you're doing right now, is what Yosef wanted to do. But thank God I screamed out. I saved myself. Verse 20. So Joseph, the master, so Joseph's master took him by Yitna Beisasari, put him in prison. He was in prison. It was in prison. Verse 21. But Joseph was Joseph. Verse 21. And the Lord was with Yosef. And he extended a charisma upon him. And he, he, was, he gave favor, him favor in the eyes of the warden. So that's what, what that mean? It means that he was well liked by all who saw him. An expression of beautiful and charismatic. He had grace. So everybody that met him wanted to be with him. Verse 22. So the warden made him the deputy warden of all the prisoners. He became like the he like came like the deputy warden. And everybody liked him and the head of liked him. So he was again treated very well, even though he was in a in a in a in a dungeon in Egypt, and a dungeon in Egypt is not like prisons today. It was really a dungeon. Verse twenty three. The warden of the prison did not inspect anything that he was doing. Trusted him totally. For God was with him. And whatever Joseph did. It prospered. So now she says, because the Lord was with him. And that ends the Chumash for today. Today, we're going to lose the Tanya. We continue the Tanya of the day. And the Tanya of the day is the, is the third chapter, beginning of the third chapter. Now, each of the three distinctions, great. Of the Nefesh, Ruch, Neshama, we mentioned before that the Neshama has five levels. But really, the Neshama that comes into the body, basic, the basic levels of, of the soul, 
that come part of a human being is called nefesh ruach neshama. As I mentioned, nalan, nun reish nun. So this soul that we have a connection to, nefesh is the basic level of the soul that comes into the dam, into the blood. The ruach is the emotions of the soul. And the neshama is the intellect of the soul. These, this neshama that I have, klulo me'esa b'chinis, they consist of 10 faculties. What, this is the Arizal, k'neged esa s'vides al-yayinais, corresponding to the 10 supernal divine manifestations, which is, which, which is above, which is, from the, which is godly, which is hanachlokas ashtayim, which is subdivided, this 10 is subdivided into two general categories. Which are called in Kabbalah three mothers. The three of the, the these spheres are termed mothers, for they are the source and the root of the seven spheres, as a mother is a source of her offsprings. Visheva kfulis and seven doubles, because the seven attributes called doubles, and so much that each of the emotional attributes manifests itself in twofold manner. As presently explained, so we have seven, six mothers: Chachma, Bina, Das, Wisdom, Knowledge, and Understanding, as he's going to say, and Sheva, Fullest, seven doubles, which is the seven emotions: Chesed, Gevura, Tiferes, Netzach, Choy, Yisoyed, Malchus. As he said, Pirush, namely Chachma, Wisdom, Bina, Understanding, Dat, Knowledge, are called mothers, and seven doubles: Shiva, Yemei, Habinian are called the seven days of foundation, of, of a building, seven days a week, which is chesed, the emotion attribute known as the seven days of creation, chesed, kindness, gevura, severity, teferes, beauty, and so on. The four being netzach, endurance, hoid, splendor, yesoid, foundation, and malchus, royalty. So those are the 10 Sfirot. Those are the 10 Sfirot. So you see, the, 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 as he says in the, in, the, in, the, in the commentary, these seven attributes are known as the seven days of creation, for it was through these seven attributes that God created the world. Each days of the create came about through a particular attribute. So the first day, Sunday, which we call Sunday, is Chesed. The second day, which is Monday, we call Monday, Really, it's a second day, is Gevurah, and so on. Just like it's in the creation of the world, we have 10 Svirot, so too is in a human being. A human being is a, little, is a small cosmos of the world. That is divided into two. Seichel, Umidis. Intellect and emotion. I have the expression, from my, from my own flesh, I see God. Because just like in the able to create the world through these 10 manifestations, so too man is made up of these 10 manifestations. Haseicho, the category of intellect is chachma, bina, das, wisdom, not understanding, and knowledge. That is the basic principles of chachma, chabad, wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. Vamidais. What is the attributes of the Mita? Is the emotions and uh, the basic two attributes of the emotion, even though there's seven, but the basic, the most important principles of these Midas is Chesed, Avas Hashem, love, kindness, Ufachtoi Virasa Lefare, into love to, and being in awe of God, and then Tiferes to glorify Him and so forth. So that's the way it is. It starts over chesed, all begins a chesed, kindness and love, and the concept of fear and an awe, and the concept of tiferes beauty. Choch, bambina, das, nikri, mois, chabad is called mothers, umakalimides, because they are the source. They're called mothers in Kabbalah because they are the source of emotions. Kamidis, Saint Tildes, Choch, bambina, das. Because emotions are the children of Chachma and Binandas. According to our wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, that's how much we're going to have love, and that's how much we're going to have fear. 
And that's how much we'll have any other midah. It's all based on our knowledge. Very important. Beer in an alien to explain this matter. is as follows. The intellectual faculty of the rational soul. Shumaskil called Dover, which rationalizes and conceives everything. Our brain, we have, O Baruch Hashem, a brain, our brain that has the capacity to understand, to decipher, to be able to, to comprehend, to separate, to anal analyze. To, 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 to make something important to something less important. All this is done in my brain. Nikki B'Shem Chachma is called wisdom, which Chachma is divided into Koyach Ma, the potential of what is. That's wisdom. Wisdom is what is it? There's always the question, maybe, maybe not. It always can be better. That is Chachma. That's my, that's my capability in the word Chachma, my wisdom. But then, when one brings forth his concentration idea from the potential into the actual, I take my wisdom, which is constantly, hopefully, constantly thinking, constantly developing. I am, I am in the mode of an inventor. And that's what we, God wants. I should constantly be inventing, constantly coming up with great ideas. But then I have to bring it down once in a while into an actuality. Because if I'm just going to be an inventor, I'm going to be an absent-minded professor. So I need to bring it down into Bina, understanding. When one, when one understands in his mind, in his intellect, is in order to understand the matter fully well. And that's Bina. That's understanding. And then he can come to, he dwells into the depths. As it evolves from the concept which had been conceived in his intellect. So he has that capability to take his wisdom to bring it down into a very, very understanding that by him it makes sense exactly the whole concept from the breadth and the depth. He can, he can understand it and comprehend it and he can visualize it. Nikola Bina, that is what you call Bina. The Mishnah says, it means Chachma and Bina. If there's no wisdom, there's no understanding. And if there's no understanding, it means Bina and Chachma. There's no true wisdom. So if I don't have Bina, then the wisdom could be, as al Rebbe will say, a fantasy. I can, I can fantasize a lot of things. Things that I, that, that I really don't have and things that I will never have maybe. So Bina makes it more a reality to me. That's Bina. Until we can understand it to its fullest, we might not have Bina. We might have Chachma, but not Bina. It's like somebody who can't explain, cannot explain something. He does not be enough. He has a knowledge, but he can't for some reason explain it. It's just too deep to explain it. He doesn't have it to be able to explain, to express it. And this is the father and mother. In Kabbalah, Chachma is the father. Bina is the mother. You need both of these pillars. They're called, these are two things that can never be separated. Wisdom and understanding can never be separated. If you separate them, we're going to have problems. As I just said, the Mishnah, I mean, there's no wisdom, there's no understanding. If there's no understanding, there's no wisdom. Because why is it important to have these two entities within me? Because I need to create something. Like a father and mother have children, I need to create something. And that is Ava, a Yira, to love something or to fear something. So if I comprehend, like a child, can I comprehend maybe why he shouldn't put his finger into, into, into the socket, into an into electric socket, when he's, gonna, when, he's gonna, when he's going to put his finger the first time into an electric socket, he's going to get a shock. Ah, oh, you can explain to him a hundred times that you're going to put your finger in there, you're going to get, 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 get a shock. He doesn't understand it. You told him, he hears it, but when he's going to put his finger, then he'll understand it. As an adult, you don't have to have a great, you understand it. You understand that playing with electricity, you might get jolted. 
and and you, therefore you shouldn't play with it. Playing with fire, you might start a fire. These are things that we understand. Hopefully, you know it's not only something that's out there. We read about it, we heard about it. It's something we know about, and therefore we and therefore either we create a love to something or a fear to something. And uh, that ends the Tanya of today. That ends the Tanya of this day, I believe. And that's it. My friends, tomorrow, I mean, to, you have to say the chapter, half of chapter 119 of your Tilim, half of chapter 119 of Tilim, and you would have done the Chitas of the day. I want to wish you a happy Shabbos, a happy Hanukkah, and happy whatever your heart desires. Have a wonderful Shabbos. We have great programming coming up on Matzah Shabbos, Saturday night, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, throughout the Hanukkah. I hope that you will participate in all the Hanukkah events that are happening at Chabad throughout the week. Have a wonderful Shabbos. Have a wonderful Hanukkah. And God bless you all. You too, Rabbi. Thank you.